can be yellow, but we're actually yellow because um, uh, years and years ago the first air ambulance was sponsored by the RAC, sorry, the AA rather, because they, they have the yellow vans on the side of the road. Really? And so they, they sponsored the air ambo first and um, they painted yellow. Um, and so we've just kept the yellow ever since then. This is just a light? So that's an extra bright light. We call that the high, the high intensity searchlight. And it is so bright, um, we normally turn it off at about 50 feet. Because above 50 feet, which is the trees, um, if you're below it and it's summertime and, and the grass is dry, you can set the grass on fire. Mm. It is really bright. And that's because it's got a focusing lens on it. So it's LED, but it's got a really good focusing lens on it. So, so when you're up at height, you can fan the light out so it's really wide and, and, and you're lighting up a huge area. And then uh, on another switch, you can turn it into it's just like a tiny pencil. And when it's in a tiny pencil, it's super bright um, and it's really concentrated. And that's what you need when you need to know it's, it's Yeah, so you can use the broad light to just kind of identify the general area of the field. And then you can be looking around for the obstacles inside the field and you can zoom the light in and make it really, really bright. So, so the, I mean, the kind of things we're looking for, uh, we would we would generally try and choose a nice big field, but we need to make sure there's no telegraph wires, no, no electricity cables, if you want a cricket pitch, are the wickets still up? Um, if it's rugby season, then on the coast. Are you assuming that uh, in terms of people, are you assuming they're going to get away because they see you? So we don't, we don't assume. So we'd always look for the area where there are the least people. Um, but how do you ensure that you know the um, there's only one bed and it's red. So the patient goes inside a great big oh, it's nice and warm. So hold on, if there is two patients, it would be two, two helis? So if there's two really, really poorly patients, then we might dispatch two helicopters. Frankly, there's five helicopters that cover East Anglia. So us in Cambridge, we cover Cambridgeshire, Suffolk, Norfolk, Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire, um, Essex, and a little bit of London. So if, um, if the job was here and there was, and there was say, six patients, well, we might get three air ambulances come. Uh, and we would get other doctors responding in their vehicles. Because right. you don't always need a helicopter. And then it would be triaged, who would, who would go with you? And yeah, exactly. Would yeah. So generally, whoever arrives on scene first would get the worst patient. Um, and then they would kind of... So our team of two would carry a doctor and a critical care paramedic. They would split to start with, triage the patients, come back to each other, decide who needs their immediate care, and then they might continue separate or they might come together as a team to deal with one week. Um, and at the same time, they'd be on the, on the radio saying, we need more assets, we need more um, uh, high-level teams to help out. Mm. But, um, so we only ever carry one patient. Like I said, we don't always carry the patient. Pre-COVID, we used to carry about um, two-thirds of the time, we'd carry the patient. One-third, we would just arrive on scene, uh, then I'll see the patient and either transport by, um, by, by ambulance or actually decide that the patient was fine because the patient's not, oh, not, yeah. not that sick all the time.